Toto not being so visible at the last few events either. I've noticed Toto Wolf, one or two people speculating he, he might call it quits and not want to be part of this anymore. Would you miss him if he were gone? Do you like having those rivalries? I mean, there aren't many on your level that so you can For be me, alive. sport is about rivalry. It's great to have rivalry. And uh, yeah, there has to be a, a, a respect. But, you know, sport isn't sport without rivalry. And, um, you know, obviously we haven't seen much of him in the last couple of years, but I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's plotting. I'm sure he's got something uh, that they're working on. And, and they're a great team. They're a big team. They've got great drivers. They'll be looking to, uh, you know, to fight back. And it hurts when you're losing. And if it doesn't hurt, then, then you shouldn't be doing it. We had, um, you know, a long period, six, six to seven seasons of, of hurt, of, of being the bridesmaid. And, uh, you know, but we never lost sight of where we wanted to be. And, uh, you know, we were, we were the team to break that, that, that domination. Um, and everything goes in cycles. At some point, somebody will beat us. Now, whether it's Mercedes or Ferrari or McLaren or Aston Martin or whoever, um, we don't know. But all we can control is what we're doing. And so that's what we're focused on is, is ourselves. Max will almost certainly win a third championship mm -hmm. in Qatar. Any issue for you that it will be on the Saturday, most likely? I mean, he's a traditionalist. Um, I mean, there's upsides and downsides to it, but yeah. what do you think about that? Well, he could be the first ever driver to do that. Um, I think that, look, we don't care when we win it. As long as we win it, it's about getting that trophy, getting that third title to his name. Uh, the fact that it's done on Qatar on a Saturday evening, uh, make even Sunday even more enjoyable to go into that Grand Prix if he achieves it as the world champion, as a three-time world champion. So I don't think it really matters um, whether it's Saturday, Sunday, so long as we bring that trophy back into the cabinet. People will ask how many can he go on to win? I mean, he's talked about maybe cutting his career rather shorter than some of his contemporaries. Mm -hmm. Could he set the new benchmark? Could he do eight? Laugh. I, I mean, he'll be on three. I mean, eight is um, a huge amount of distance away. I mean, to have achieved three, he already joins, you know, the greats, the late great Ayrton Senna, for example. There's, there's not many drivers with more than three. Um, you've got Sebastian, you've got Alain Prost, you've got Fangio, you've got Michael Schumacher and, and Lewis Hamilton. And I think it's a, a pretty select club that he's now now entered um, you know, by uh, when he, he wins his third world title. And I think for him, he's just an out and out racer. And uh, I know he's proud of what he's doing and achieving. Um, but again, he's forward looking. He's not, not rearward looking. And I think that for him, it's about now next season or not even next season, it's about the next race. And of course, there's still six races to go this year. And I know he's motivated to try and, and win all of them. Because Sebastian, I think, by the time he was 26, and Max is 26 this weekend, had won four championships. You would have bet your house on him going on to win more. He never did. So it can end as abruptly as it, even though you see yeah, it's, it's all circumstance as well. I mean, it relies on being provided with the right car. Sebastian, we were able to give a, a phenomenal car at an early stage in his career. Max has now won more races uh, in his time with Red Bull than, than, than Seb did. And it... Obviously, because of that Mercedes dominance, it took us a few years to be able to give him the tools to achieve what he's capable of. And I think he's demonstrated just what a level he's, he's operating at, which is, you know, is phenomenal. Yeah. Do you think we'll see Vettel back in F1? I can't, I can't see where he would come back in, in Formula One. And I think in certain ways it would be a shame in, to diminish what he, he achieved as a four-time world champion you know, if he were to come in further down the grid. Um, I think there's you know, other categories that he's inevitably ha you know, exploring and, and looking at. Um, so uh, I don't think his racing days are over, but whether that's in Formula One or not, you know, who knows.